Shalom, Shalom, Makim. First of all, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rabbah Kabbalah, the city of apostles and the elders and teachers of Great Millstone who grew well and teach well. It's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion is coming back with another lesson, real quick. In the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm going to get right into this, man. This is Matthew 9, verse number 35. It says, And Yahweh Shai went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues. And preaching the gospel, which gospel means good news, of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Okay, let me stop right there. Now, there's a group or whatever called One Body in, in uh, Yahawashai that stated that Yahawashai didn't do any miracles. All right, which that's absolutely madness. Okay, he literally says healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Okay, verse 36. <laughs> so it says, and that should be a no-brainer, man. Like, if you can't get that down, I mean, there's just no hope for you, man. You just have no hope, okay? You can't make it. You're not allowed to make it, man, because you're spreading false teaching. There's no way you could let a guy in there. You can't be let into the kingdom, man. All right? Because you're a demon. Verse 36, it says, But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Okay, now let me say this, my brothers. Now, a lot of these Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're worshiping the God of these other nations, like Jesus Christ is a God of the other nations, because he accepts everybody and loves everybody. But... Contrary to all physical things that you see, clearly so much is happening of deaths of people and just destruction and pain and punishment and wars. How could there be love amongst those people who are dying like that? Viciously. It makes no sense, man. And that that's confusing and there's no way the Lord would allow that. Okay? Period. We know why it's happening. Because one, it's prophecy. Two, the Lord's not dealing with everybody and he slays the wicked and he allows them to fall unto, unto mischief. Okay? But the righteous will flourish and prosper. And that doesn't mean with cash money, man. All right? So don't get it twisted like those false Christian pastors will tell you. So a seed of $1,000 and I'll give you this and that. All right? We got to be realistic, man. It's not real. So that's a fraud. So anyways, man, it says here, um, verse 37, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Okay? So we got to go in and work. That's why the videos are important because there's a guy out there going, you know what, man, this makes sense. I'm going to repent. Now, I got to follow the law, statutes, and commandments minus the sacrificial laws because Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice for the nation of Israel. First and foremost for the elect because really the Lord Yahweh Shai only died for the elect, for their sins to be covered. All right. Ultimately, all Israel is going to be saved through the loins of the elect, through the mercy that's on the elect. Okay? On the chosen. Because the conclusion of Romans, the 11th chapter, is that all Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But we know on this side of things physically, all right, two-thirds got to die because they're advocating to help, you know, help Ukraine and shit like that, man. You don't know what those people are going going uh, for. They're, they're all about democracy, which is part of the philosophies of the beast system that the Lord's going to fight against and tear down, which goes against the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the scriptures. All right? So advocating for it is just a bad look, man. Okay? So we got to pray for more laborers, more workers, man. All right, and let's, let's, matter of fact, let's get some precepts to this. Matthew 28 and 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, okay, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Spirit. Right. And the understanding is only given to Israel. Bear in mind when he's saying teach all nations, he's going in to say to teach all those scattered amongst those nations, man. All right. Baptizing them to be baptized means to be washed by the washing of the water, by the word. Ephesians 5 and 26. All right. Not to go and washing everybody with water. Because that ain't going to do nothing. All right. And the Lord knows that. Okay. Don't think that, you, you know, you know better than the Lord, man. Okay. He's you're not going to, he didn't say to go there and, and have a foot washing service in all nations and wash all the nations' bodies. Think what stupid folly and madness that would, come on, man. Come on, man. And then you got a guy who, who I believe jumped into a cage with a lion to preach the gospel onto every creature and he got killed. This was a, a some pastor or something, man. And that's openly tempting the Lord, man. The scriptures say, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power, man. Oh, the Lord will protect me. So I'm going to go in and do something unwise. Knowing the viciousness of the creature, the lion can kill and will defend its territory. Okay? And just like the scriptures say, man, you know, he that meddleth with another man's affairs is like he that grabbeth a dog by the ears. And why? Because animals are dangerous here. And that's just common sense. Mark 16 and 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And that's talking about the men of the Lord. The men, man. Not if you see a snake on the floor, make sure you preach the gospel to it, man. Hey, bro, if you see a rat on the floor, don't forget to preach the gospel to him, you know? Every creature, bro. Every creature, no man left behind, bro. So this is why people die and evangelists, so-called Christian evangelists, die on these missionary journeys. It's not because, uh, you know, they're, it's not because they were, uh, you know, doing the work of the Lord, man. It's because they were preaching to the wrong crowd. You know, they were going, trying to convert people who were not even Israelites, man. You know, they're, and, they're, and they're preaching a false gospel as well, man. Oh, yeah, we went to Uganda and, or wherever. I was preaching the gospel to these people. Like, bro, that's a Muslim country or whatever. They're going to kill your ass dead, man. You know? Like, and they would do something stupid like that. And I don't know if it was Uganda in specific, uh, but somewhere like that, man. You see? Luke 2, uh, 10 and 2, it says, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Now, a lot of you uh, guys um, who have, you know, literally put your hand to the plow and then turn back. Well, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. And you're not, and newsflash, in case you thought it was all good, you're not going to make it. OK. Because you and you know who you are, too. You put down the plow, man. You stopped laboring and said, F this. I retire. Okay? Or I quit, matter of fact. To retire is like with honor. You know? To quit is just being a damn quitter. You know? So it's a wrap for you, man. So, you know, that's why, brothers, you know, do more videos, pray more, study more, and, and get into the knowledge so that you can give and share the knowledge with others. To let these so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans know that they are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. They're not black and African and uh, Mexican. Yeah, I'm proud of my Mexican heritage, man. That's good for you, but guess what? That goes back to Israel, man. Okay? They're the ones that built the pyramids, man. That's why it's completely parallel within a few degrees of each other. All the way, because they used the knowledge of the stars as the Ishakarites were prophesied in the scriptures that that was their gift to be able to measure the stars and discern the stars in the sky, man. 
and it would line up measurements to make things correct. But we don't know what we're talking about, right? All right, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying again, man. You know, pray, brothers, you know, that the Lord uh, allow you to preach in properly, man, in order. Okay, Psalm 68 and 11, I'll enter, uh, I'll stop it with this, okay? It says, the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it, man. All right, so King James and uh, the 70 scholars and whatnot who went out to, you know, to, to uh, translate the scriptures, all those men were anointed by the Lord, all right? And now we're able to, preach it and teach it and it's been codified into precepts in order to line up together so that we can understand this puzzle which is the Lord's word and it's a mystery that has been unfolded man and is unraveling still okay and with that I'm going to give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai Hashem Yahshai if this is your first time watching the channel repent for the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is at hand Shalom.